Samantha Smith, at the age of 10, took the initiative to get involved in trying to solve a world crisis. Like Samantha, the students on Team Pemaquid at MMS chose an issue in our community. Hunger. How can we help those hungry in our community? One sixth of Americans do not have enough food to eat. One out of five kids live in a home that struggles to put food on the table. So our team, which is Pemaquid, has been doing a whole Man Smith Challenge unit based on hunger, how we can solve hunger in our community, and what's healthy for you, and I'm doing something on world hunger, and all things that are basically who's hungry and how can we get them healthier food. Please share the conversations you've been having with your parents about this Man Smith Challenge. Um, well, I just told them that we were going to get a hoop house and grow vegetables and stuff for our community and school because there's a lot of people who don't have enough food and don't have healthy food that they can eat. Like, they asked how we were going to have the money to buy all that stuff and I told them that we have grant money and stuff and we got donations too. Yes, the UNA has definitely brought up conversation at home because the project that I'm working on is a project that I'm taking from my old hometown and bringing here. So it's a very personal experience for what I'm doing in my family. We, we realized that there was a lot of kids in the school that they have choices, but they don't have any choices that they like. So maybe if we provide maybe like three more choices, then they'll have enough so that way they're satisfied with what they get for lunch. Choices like what, for instance? Like, there's salad offered up there, but the salad isn't very good quality, so not many kids eat it. And like, if we can pr produce fresh salad, then uh, it'd be fresh and the kids would actually like it. A child who does not have enough to eat isn't going to do well in school. A lack of nutritious food impairs a child's ability to concentrate in school. So we'll put posters in the school, iMovies will be shown, podcasts will be played in the morning, and fairy houses will be shown to younger kids. Try to get kids to actually use the lunch and breakfast program. So we'll put out more arranged meals, more salads, fruits, and vegetables, and we'll have taste tests so they can try new items. Try to get people to avoid fake foods. To read food labels. To eat greener. To get people to choose nutrition over convenience. To build a greenhouse and grow food for lunches and snack time. To restore the community garden. 